Hi, I'm John from Drive's Technical Service Department, and today I want to show you how to test our new CTE electronic throttle control that we use in our new model Odyssey GT scooter. Now, first I want to show you the difference between the older style throttle pot and the new control. Now, the throttle pot, as you remember from an earlier video that we had made, is tested simply by using an ohmmeter. Now, as we use an ohmmeter to test that, we find that the new control, you can't use an ohmmeter to test it with because the throttle control here has to be powered up and it has to be in the circuit in order to be checked to see if it's any good. So, first of all, you need to have power applied to the red and black wires that come through the two-pin connector. And then the output of the controller goes through these three wires with the three pin connector, which is connected to the controller. In this case, it's an S-Drive controller that powers the scooter. The first thing we want to do is connect the negative lead from the test meter to the most negative lead on the battery. So we connect the test lead to the negative terminal on this battery. Now we're going to turn the test meter on and we want to set it to the 200 volt DC scale. In order to make sure that we have good connections down the bottom and that the meter is working, we're going to touch our positive test lead to the power feed to the S-Drive controller. And we see that we have 24.8 volts, 24.9 or so, and we have all our connections correct. Now we can test the controller. We want to turn our scooter on, and we want to make sure that we're in the fastest position of our speed control. So. We're in the high scale and we're all the way on our rabbit on our controller. And I want to take the time to mention that this test can be done in freewheel or with the brake engaged. It's easier if you do it in freewheel so that way you don't have to block the back of the scooter up in order to keep the wheels from turning and making the scooter run away from you. Now we want to check the center of the controller, which would be this white wire, and we want to see about two and a half volts to it. And that's what we have. Now we want to check the low side, and we should get around 0 0.2, 0 0.3 volts, and that should show us that that's good. Now we go to the high side, and we should see around 4.7, and we do. The next thing we'll do, which is similar to testing our resistive type throttle control, is we want to sweep from the high to the low and the high to the high side, or middle to high side. So as we have on the 2.5 scale, we're going to start moving our throttle control in the forward and we see that very slowly the voltage is dropping and we're coming down to 0.3 volts which shows us that that looks pretty good. Now we want to come back up very slowly and make sure again that we don't have any dead spots or shorts or anything in the circuitry of this unit. Now we're going to go the other way and uh, this will be the reverse direction, and you're going to hear the, uh, the reverse beeper going on here. So as we do this, you see that the voltage is very slowly climbing. And we're at 4.6 volts, which is within the two-tenth limit. 
and we could very slowly come back to the neutral. And there we have it. And that's how we test the electronic throttle control on our Odyssey scooter.